We now begin with the hour oath taking. Okay. Well, I you want to stay in the middle. Okay, oath of office. Please read your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. A member of the do hereby solemnly swear that I will support the vision and mission of the Philippine Electricity Market Corporation and promote good governance in the wholesale electricity spot market. I promise to uphold the integrity and professionalism of the institution. And by example, encourage collegiality and respect for the collective decisions of the Western Committee. At all times, I will faithfully and impartially fulfill the best of my ability, my duties and responsibilities as a member of the committee for the advancement of the WSM and through it the development of the Philippine electricity industry that fully serves the public good. So help me God. Congratulations. Let us give a warm round of applause for our new inducted Western Governance Committee members. Congratulations to all of you. round of applause for your newly inducted Western Governance Committee members. Congratulations and thank you Secretary Reyes. On what transpired over the past year of the Western operations, we would like to call on the Executive Vice President of the Philippine Electricity Market Corporation Ladies and gentlemen, let's all give a warm round of applause for Engineer Mario R. Pangilinan. Thank you and uh, good morning to our honored guests. here to uh, present to you today the results of our 12 months of operation uh, in the Western. Uh, we will start with the market outcomes and then we will be, it will be followed by the performance of the market operator and some of the improvements that we have introduced uh, in our first 12 months of operation. Uh, from the start of the Western, the total registered generation capacity was around 11,396 megawatts. Uh, out of this 11,396 megawatt, 45% is, is under the control of the PISAN, while 22% is within the control of the National Power Corporation. This is followed by the combined capacity of the First Gas Power Corporation of uh, about uh, 12%, while Quezon Power, one of the IPPs of Meralco, a uh, contracted with Meralco, is uh, at 4%. The new owners of the Pantabangan Hydroelectric Power Plant, uh, First Gen Hydropower Corporation, holds 1% of the total capacity, while the owners of the Magat Hydroelectric Power Plant, uh, SN Aboitis Power, holds 3% of the total capacity. In terms of uh, generation types, uh, one-third of the generation capacity is composed of coal-fired power plants, 
while uh, about a quarter is composed of the natural, natural gas-fired power plants. The rest are diesel, diesel oil, geothermal, hydros, and a small portion of wind turbines. On the customer side, uh, the total registered demand is about 6,500 megawatts, 70% of which is within the Meralco franchise area. Uh, the smaller uh, customers are the Soreco 2 and the Ilocos Norte Electric Cooperative, which holds about 0.6 and 0.5% of the total demand, respectively. Uh, the others are indirect participants or unregistered members, which are either under the uh, bilateral contract with the National Power Corporation or under a special uh, default wholesale supply, supplier arrangement. In terms of uh, the monthly performance of the market, what you see here is the demand supply as well as the price dynamics uh, month on month, which is what we call the low rated average price. In the first uh, two months of the market, uh, the clearing prices were below the time of use uh, rates, which at that time was used as a benchmark in the uh, prices of electricity. Uh, there were some dramatic uh, changes or increases in the market, which prompted the Philippine Electricity Market Board to do some corrections of the market prices, and they were corrected down to the POU rates. Also on that same period, uh, we suffered a five-day market suspension due to Typhoon Millennium. This was caused by the blackout that happened in the Luzon Creek, uh, but we were able to recover the or resume the market operation as soon as 90% of the loads were restored. Uh, then this was followed by a tight supply situation when the Malampaya gas supply had to shut down. And this is where we recorded the highest uh, market clearing price in our 12 months of operation. Uh, this happened on the fifth and the sixth month. Uh, after the Malampaya gas supply was restored, uh, we experienced lower demand because of the cold weather in December and January. And this has caused the market uh, clearing prices to go lower than 5 pesos per kilowatt hour. This was also followed through by the Holy Week holidays, which caused uh, a big dip in our demand for the market, in the market. After that, uh, it was followed by the summer season or the summer months, which causes an increase in temperature uh, that caused the increase in the demand. Uh, because of the uh, lower availability of hydro resources during those times, we experienced some escalation in the market prices. And this, what, this continued because of the delays in the rains up to, the, up to June and even up to the months of July. Uh, Load-weighted load average is, uh, is a good uh, tool to uh, see the hourly uh, trends in the market prices. However, it's actually the effective settlement price that tells us how much we pay as consumers and how much generators are paid in their spot transaction. Uh, what you see is the effective settlement price with and without surplus. Effective settlement price with surplus represents the payments being made by customers, while the effective settlement price without surplus are the payments made, uh, by the, uh, made to the generators. The difference between the two is what we call the uh, settlement surplus. And this settlement surplus, once accumulated, are flowed back to the customers in the market. So that most of the differences are equalized. You will see that in the, in the monthly uh, market effectiveness settlement price, there are situations where market prices are relatively higher. And uh, these are situations where there are shortages in supply or marginal shortages that requires more oil power to uh, enter into the dispatch. The uh, imaginary line on the third and the fourth billing period is actually the, the actual price that would have been if the Philippine Electricity Market Board had not authorized any adjustments in the Wilson. And the red and the blue lines uh, are actually the cumulative average prices in the market for the 12 months. It's uh, worth noting that uh, despite the ups and downs of the market prices, our cumulative average price is still within 5 pesos per kilowatt hour, which is quite comparable with the time of use rates of NDC. Uh, 